Good morning, Israel. Good morning, believers. J.D. Nigel, Word of Truth. Coming to you from Bolsa Chica State Beach in beautiful Huntington Beach, California. World famous surf city. Good morning, good morning. I'm back. Third lesson, third message, third teaching, third, third, third. Um, welcome new subscribers, family. Hey fam, brothers and sisters, my brothers and sisters. Um, so I looked up. Let me let me say all praises, honor, glory, and oh, awe unto our Heavenly Father, the only begotten Son, Jesus Christ, and the Holy Spirit that's indwelling us and bringing us into all truth and grace through the Lord Jesus Christ, our Savior, our Deliverer, our Goel, our kinsman, Redeemer, our brother, who is reconciling us back to the Father. Give my brothers and sisters peace, Lord. Give them comfort, Heavenly Father. Give them understanding. Take away the mirth and bring on the sorrow so that they can understand who you are. Amen. Um, see if I can get this without... There we go. There we go. So, I looked into the word Ben. <laughs> I can't believe I, I brain farted on the last video. Ben, what's that mean? Son of. Son of. What's the word in Hebrew? Ben. Benjamin. Son of my right hand. Ben only. Son of my sorrow. Benoni. Rachel named. I'm going to have to keep doing this until I get it. Or until someone else figures it out. What does it mean that Rachel died? Giving birth to Benoni. Son of my sorrows. Who's the man of sorrows? Jesus, Solomon. How does this relate? Why do why did why do these wicked dudes keep wisdom and knowledge? You better knock off your Saul bullshit. You can call those guys whatever you want. You can call GM Aston. You can call them every in whatever you want. Just don't call them House of Saul. Don't even do it, bro. Get the word Saul out of your mouth in any negative way. I'm telling you, brother. You're, you're going off the rocker. You're going off the hook. You are in a bad place when you do that. I, I'm saying it. And, and it will come true. You will know it. When the time comes, you will know. Every time you put that word in your mouth in a negative way, you're going to get a little bit of your soul nicked off nicked off you might end up having none left if you keep doing it bro he might shut you up I'm telling you believe me i know so knock it off you can call them idiots you can call them buttheads you can call them punks you can call them losers you can call them wicked devils don't call them house of saul don't call don't put any negative on the house of saul or you're gonna be you're gonna have to answer for that bro any of you yeah, you guys, spiritual life lessons, I know you don't listen to me because I'm not Negro, so that's your problem. You need to wake up too. I noticed you haven't been putting any videos out, spiritual life lessons. Why is that? You don't have nothing to say. You can only say GMS sucks so many times. That's that's the sidebar now. That's That's the joke. That's not the main theme. You guys need a theme. What's your theme? Oh, the new covenant. Whatever. What's a, what's a triangle? What's a square? What's a circle? New covenant. Pfft. You guys are like first grade teaching. It's pathetic. And all these people think they're getting so much wisdom and knowledge from you dumbasses. Anyway, 
Hi, family. So the man of sorrows. Can we get back to reality for a minute? In Isaiah 53. Man, a man of sorrows. Ben only, son of my sorrow. Rachel, there's a tomb in Jerusalem over there in Bethlehem. The tomb of Rachel. It's, it's revered by every type of Christian, Muslim, anybody, Catholic, anybody who has any knowledge of the Bible knows Rachel's tomb is like huge, brah. Huge. You want to you want to know about the the deep things of the Bible? Figure out who the fuck Rachel is. Salakia. I know some of you have soft ears and I'm not a soft guy, I'm a prophet. So I'm I forgive me if I just throw those words out like they just roll off my tongue like nothing, right? Oh, you teachers shouldn't be talking shouldn't be talking with cursing fucking street ministers for Christ. You pastors out there, they're the are, are using those curse words. You're gonna have to repent. Those aren't those aren't men of God. Men of God don't come on, sir. Who has believed our report? And whom is the arm of the Lord revealed? So what what is it? Benoni. Son of my sorrows. No. Jacob said Benjamin. Son of my right arm. Not playing games here, people. Let's get down to some study. It's not just one name. It's two names. A double portion. He's the son of my sorrows from Rachel, but he's the son of my right arm. So in this verse, it's saying, what is going on with Benjamin? What is going on with Benoni? And what is how does Christ fit in here? Figure that one out and you have my attention. For he shall grow up before him as a tender plant and as a root out of the dry ground. He has no form nor comeliness. And when we shall see him, there is no beauty that we should desire him. He is despised and rejected of men, a man of sorrows. And acquainted with grief. And we hid as we were our faces from him. He was despised and we esteemed him not. Now, now you can't see me. Can you see me now? Can you see me now? Surely he has borne out our griefs and carried our sorrows, yet he did. we did esteem him stricken, smitten of God, and afflicted. Lord, take this thorn out of my side. Your grace is sufficient for you, J.D. Nijah. Surely he has borne out our sorrows. Isaiah 53, a man of sorrows. Surely he has borne out our griefs and carried our sorrows, yet we did esteem him stricken, smitten of God, and afflicted. He was wounded for our transgression. He was bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement of our peace was upon him, and with his stripes we are healed. How are we healed? By taking the whoopings, by taking the hits, by taking the lickings. This is real shit, people. I'm not, I'm not here to play games, lead you by the hand. Either you get it or you don't. You're here for a reason. If you're here spending your time with me, make it count. A man of sorrows. 
Ben Ben Oni. So let's go to Ecclesiastes. This is Jesus in the regeneration as Solomon, right? I mean, I got to roll up the window for this one. So what, what did we learn in Isaiah 53? That's the, they call that, they call that the, um, the apex of prophecy. Isaiah 53 is the height. Isaiah 53 is the, the high point in prophecy. It's the, it's the apex. It's the, It's the top of the, the mountain. Why is that? Because it's the most revealing and at the same time, the most mysterious. Our lips are sealed, baby. Our lips are sealed. Vexation of spirit. So what are we talking about? We're talking about the sons of sorrow. We're talking about the man of sorrow. We're talking about Jesus himself. We're talking about Solomon. We're talking about Josiah, Yeshua, Joshua. We're talking about the spirit of Benjamin. Benoni, son of my sorrows. Son of my right hand. Who is the right, who is the arm of the Lord revealed? Can we all agree that the tribe of Benjamin through Judah, Benjamin, Bethlehem, Ephrata? Do we get that yet? Do we, do we have that understanding? Is that why we shut our fucking mouths about Saul? Is Saul among the prophets now? This is who I am, people. This is who I am. I can't not help it that it, the Satan's working in me. <laughs> He's trying to slap you around. <laughs> he is. He's slapping me around. That's for sure. Let's get it. Vexation of spirit. Solomon. Jesus Christ. Son of David. Josiah. Yahshua, Joshua, Yeshua, <laughs> Yahweh Shai, <laughs> Yahweh Shai, okay, <laughs> I, I never saw that name in the Bible anywhere, is it in the book, your name's not in the book, dude, we'll get into that in a minute, vexation of spirit, ecclesiastics, Ecclesiastes, Ecclesiastes, Ecclesiastes 114, Salakia. I have seen all the works that are done under the sun, and behold, all is vanity and vexation of spirit. It's all a fucking game. It's all painful. It's all confusing. It's all, ah, get it? Ah, that which is crooked cannot be made straight, and that which is wanting cannot be numbered wanting that which is lacking are we lacking everything here we're lacking every good thing can you take that can you if you can receive that in the spirit can you receive that in the spirit I know my roommate can. He knows what I'm talking about. I can hear it in his voice. And that which is wanting cannot be numbered. It's not a soft place to be. It's not soft. 
It's not, it's not a game. I communed with mine own heart saying, Lo, I am come to great estate. I have gotten more wisdom than all they which have been before me in Jerusalem. Yea, my heart has great experience of wisdom and knowledge. Wisdom and knowledge. Isaiah 33, 15, whatever it is, 13. Bro. You're, you're getting it. You're close. Just stay away from, get Saul out of your mouth, bro. And don't be afraid to talk down on, on, on your brother Tahar and, and Dowell. Dowell just sounds wrong. Dowell sounds like something that needs to be flushed. I like the man. I like the man. I just don't like some of the things in the spirit behind him. Um, he's a little bit of a cultist, you might say. Verse 17, Ecclesiastes 1, And I gave my heart to know wisdom and to know madness and folly. The Lord, the Lord rules. The Lord, watch out for the, <laughs> it's folly, it's all craziness. And in much wisdom is much grief. And he that increases knowledge increases sorrow. Why why did why did Rachel name ben, ben, Benjamin Benoni? Why did she say, Oh, Benoni? She got some kind of knowledge from the fact that giving birth to Benjamin. Giving birth to prophecy is a bitch. It's a hard thing. Knowing, knowing the son of the living God is a hard thing. It's a thorn in your side. It's, it's death. It's knowing you got to die to bring forth the truth. There you go. There we're, we're breaking it open. We're cracking that shell. What is prophecy? It's that knowledge that hurts. You cannot stand against the truth. You cannot stand against knowledge. You can't stand against prophecy. You dumb ass black Hebrew ignorites. Black Hebrew ig, 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 ignorites. I can't even say is, Israelite behind that anymore. It's not true. Black Hebrew ignorites. Um, I better, I better ease up on the. Um, you know. Better is sorrow. I said in my heart, go to now and will prove thee with mirth. Therefore enjoy pleasure and behold, this also is vanity. I said of laughter, it is mad and of mirth. What does it do? And I sought in my heart to give myself unto wine, yet acquainting my heart with wisdom and to lay hold on folly till I might see what was good for the sons of men, which they should do under the heaven all the days of their life. Wisdom exceeds folly. We know that sorrow is better than mirth. Um, yea, I hated all my labor which I had taken under the sun. I should leave it under the man that should be after me. For what has man of all his labor and of the vexation of his heart wherein he has labored under the sun? For all his days are sorrows and his travail grief. 
Yea, his heart taketh not rest in the night. This is also vanity. Sorrow, sorrow, sorrow. Let's see what we got. Almost done. This I got a I got a bag on um, GMS in these one wet one waste Hebrew ignorites. We're turning into hunters now. Behold, I will send many fishers, said the Lord, and they shall fish men. And after I will send many hunters, and they shall hunt them from every mountain and from every hill and out of the holes of the rock. For mine eyes are upon their ways. They are not hid from my face. Neither is there iniquity hid from my eyes. Am I picking up the, the bow and arrow? Am I picking up the sling? Am I slinging rocks at these guys? Fishing time's over, bro. I'm not looking to, to bring you in. I'm looking to lay you out. Who is the arm of the Lord revealed to? Do you know Tahar? <laughs> Your voice, voice is failing, Tahar. You're not even going to be able to scream out Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai when I'm done with you and when the Lord's done with you. We're coming for you, bro. Run. Run. Who told you to flee from the wrath to come, Tahar? Who told you to run from the wrath to come, Gabar? The Lord did. Oh, Lord. Jeremiah 17, 19, and then I'll finish out. I don't, I don't sock people with my fists anymore. I sock you in the spirit. Done trying to slap some sense into people. I just move on. Oh Lord, my strength, my fortress, and my refuge in the day of affliction. The Gentiles shall come unto thee from the ends of the earth and shall say, Surely our fathers have inherited lies, vanity, and things wherein there is no profit. I could go on and on on that one. Who's their fathers? The innocents. The innocent churches. Wow, we were just, we were just playing in the little pool. Yes, you are, churches. But that's where you're coming from. You guys are splashing around like children. <laughs> it's all right. Just believe that that pool is the right pool. You're in the pool of Shalom. You will be healed. Just just have fun while you're doing it. It's, it's, it's all right. Be ready for a rock to crush you, though, because that's what he's coming to do. He's coming to crush everyone. There is no one escapes the rock. Shall a man make gods unto himself, and they are no gods? Therefore, behold, I will this once cause them to know. I will cause them to know mine hand and my might. What hand? The hand of Benjamin. Benjamin, son of my right hand. Whack. Spiritual slap upside the head. And they shall know that my name is... Wait for it. Wait for it. And they will know my name is. Wait for it. <laughs> the Lord. J.D. Nigel, word of truth. Thanks for being here. Forgive my harsh tongue, my sharp cursing Wicked satanic tongue. <laughs> ah. I love you believers. I love you Israel. The rock is getting ready to fall. Get ready to be crushed for our Lord. It's what we do. All praises, honor, and glory to the Most High. 
I love you, brothers and sisters. Give you understanding, give you the sorrow, give you the, the grief that comes with knowing that death brings life. Rachel died and she knew that the spirit of prophecy of Benjamin is the spirit that death to this world brings life in the next world. Till the next one, brothers and sisters. I love you. Peace and grace. I'm out.